वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टू द सेकेंड पार्ट इन कंटिन्यूशन ऑफ चैप्टर वन हेयर वी विल स्टडी द सिंथेसिस ऑफ अदर न्यूट्रिय फ्रॉम ग्लूकोज चिल्ड्रेन एज यू ऑल नो दैट ड्यूरिंग द प्रोसेस ऑफ फोटो सिंथेसिस द ग्रीन प्लांट सिंथेसाइज फूड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ग्लूकोज विच इज अ सिंपल कार्बोहाइड्रेट नाउ दिस सिंपल कार्बोहाइड्रेट इज यूज फॉर द सिंथेसिस ऑफ अदर न्यूट्रिय ऑल्सो लाइक द कॉम्प्लेक्स कार्बोहाइड्रेट सक्रोस एंड स्टार्च proteins which are made by the simple carbohydrates and nitrogen fats are also formed by the simple carbohydrates moving on to the next slide that is the heterotrophic mode of nutrition in plants non green plants like uh, fungi and some bacteria are some flowering plants and some flowering plants are without the chlorophyll children they cannot synthesize their food by the process of photosynthesis like animals uh, they have to depend on other green plants for their food therefore the heterotrophs are organisms which cannot manufacture their food and derive it from green plants or other animals their mode of nutrition is called as heterotrophic nutrition now based on the mode of the nutrition of uh, obtaining the food heterotrophs may be classified as parasitic plants saprophytic plants symbiotic plants and insectivorous plants let us take the first uh, type that is the parasitic plants all the non green plants that obtain the parasitic plants the non green plants that obtain food uh, from other some other green plants these are called as parasitic plants the plants that provide the food is called as the host plant the parasitic plant absorb food from the roots or the stem of the host plants and they develop a special root like structure which we call it as hosteria they enter the host tissues and reach the vascular bundle to obtain the food some parasitic plants are total parasites as they completely depend on the host plant for their food for example the cascata or the dodder as you can see in the slide while others are the partial parasitic plants which can synthesize their food but depend on the host plant for water and other minerals like the mistletoe it is a partial parasite on mango and mahua plants the second category is the saprophytes children all the non green plants they cannot obtain their food uh, from the uh, process of photosynthesis so they obtain their food from the dead and decaying plants and animals they release digestive enzymes on the decaying matter and they these enzymes which are secreted they break down the complex food into the simple ones this simple compounds are absorbed by the saprophytes and this fungi such as molds and mushroom are some of the bacteria which are falling in this category of saprophytic mode of nutrition here you can see that the bread mold and the mushroom they belong to this category of saprophytes which obtain food from the dead and decaying organic matter the next type is the symbiotic plants symbiosis means when the two organisms live together and share shelter and nutrients and the such kind of association is also called as the symbiotic relationship and the organisms which involved in this kind of relationship they are called as the symbiotic they mutually uh, help each other for the survival now children the roots of leguminous plants like the gram moong or a peas beans etc these are the leguminous plants and the roots of these plants they have the uh, nodules and the bacteria which we call it as the rhizobium bacteria lives in the nodules of these roots and they convert the atmospheric nitrogen into the soluble nitrates these nitrogenous compounds are used by the leguminous plants and rhizobium cannot make its food it gets its food from the plant thus the leguminous plants and rhizobium have a symbiotic 
relationship as you can see this uh, this is the root structure and the round uh, shape structures are called as the root nodules in which the rhizobium bacteria lives another example of symbiotic uh, relationship is the lichen which are symbiotic organisms in which an alga and a fungus live together and they derive nutrients from each other the alga is green and autotroph and it can make the food for both by the process of photosynthesis the fungus provides shelter water and minerals to the alga this also belongs to the symbiotic association next category is the insectivorous plants insectivorous plants are green plants they can make their food by the process of photosynthesis but they trap and digest insects to meet their nitrogen requirements these plants they grow in the nitrogen deficient soil and they use the devices to trap the insects for example the pitcher plant the leaf lamina is modified into a pitcher like structure which hangs from the uh, flat stalk or the petiole of the leaf another one is the venus fly trap this is also belong this also belongs to the insectivorous uh, plant and it also it fulfill the nitrogen nitrogenous requirements by trapping the insect and fulfilling the nitrogen requirement children the rest of the topic or the questions for the practice i will be giving you in the next video till then take care